Hey, what's up survivors? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Another 7 Days to Die modding tutorial. Have you ever wanted to swim faster in 7 Days to Die? Because you do move rather slow. It's almost like swimming through syrup. Well, in earlier versions of the game, you could move through the water rather quickly. And if you weren't holding down the jump button, basically, or the run button, you would sink to the bottom in a matter of time. Now it's like swimming through honey just to get to the bottom or even move across the water. So if you're one of those people that just kind of wants to bump it up a little bit, I'll show you what you need to change to do that. Changing your swimming speed in 7 Days to Die is really quite easy. There's just one small thing you have to change. So go under the 7 Days to Die folder from where it's installed, like I showed in the first video. Go under Data. Then go under Config. And go down to where you see the Materials file. This is an XML file, so right-click it and choose Edit. So once you have it open, the easiest thing to do is just to click and drag it down and scroll just a little ways down. It's not too far down. If you start getting these little paragraphs of familiar looking text, you're going to see one that says Material ID Water, this little section right here. Now this is what you have to go in and edit. Now right here, this line right here is where it determines your movement speed. By default, it's 0.9. So if you want to adjust it, you only have to adjust it just a small fraction. So if you want to get it up to a little bit of a faster speed, you could bump it up to just one if you want to. So we'll start it off right at one and see how fast that is. So make sure you hit save and then just launch the game. And you can see just bumping it up just from 0.9 to 1, you already move quite a bit faster through the water. For most of us, this is a good enough speed. This is generally where I like to keep it if I'm taking the time to actually modify it. But let's go a little bit deeper. Okay, now you want to try and bump it up just a little bit more. So you open the file back up again, go back to the same section again and change it to, let's do 1.2 this time. That's a little bit faster. You're going to be swinging faster than you can actually run at this point, but it's quite all right. This is just for fun. So once again, save it and then relaunch the game and give that a try. And you'll see that you can now swim faster than you can even run on the land. Of course, if you're holding down the sprint button while in the water, you go faster than if you're just treading water. And this also allows you to swim underwater a lot faster, which makes doing repairs and digging and things like that a lot easier. But at this point, you're moving faster than you relatively should be able to. And lastly, let's go a little bit crazy and turn it all the way up to 11. Now, this is quite obscene. Of course, this isn't even necessary to have in the game at this point. But if you're just wanting to mess around, of course, you can continue to bump the number up. Now, do keep in mind, the faster you're moving, the lower your frame rate is going to go because of how much stuff it has to render. But save the file and give it a try and see what happens. And you'll see at this speed that you can now swim faster than Michael Phelps could ever possibly hope to. You could probably drag a skier behind you if you absolutely wanted to. It's quite obscene and this will cause some frame drops because you're moving so fast through the water. But it's kind of silly if you just kind of want to play around. It's something fun to do. So just choose the speed that suits your playstyle best. It's really quite easy to do. Of course, the higher you go, the faster you're going to go. That's just the way it works out. But there's really nothing special about bumping it up to 100. I've tried it. It doesn't do much. So anyway, hopefully you found the video enjoyable. If you did, you can do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.